Hey everybody, we're back with a comic haul. So what I'm going to show today is that short box that I told you about. Um, and I'll try to go through it as fast as possible because I'm, I'm pretty sure no one wants to sit there and look through a whole short box with me. But uh, paid $40 for this short box. It was fill a short box for $40 um, or buy his books for 2 bucks a piece. And what's cool about the books that they're... They were all bagged and boarded, um, which is big these days because supplies are hard to come by. But in addition to the short box, I just bought a couple of cheap books uh, from another vendor. Uh, this Mighty Mouse, I think, was two or three bucks. This Dave Stevens, uh, True Love. This was the best book that I got from the show. Have you guys get a better look at it. Uh, showcase number 75, the first appearance of Hawk and Dove. Did I write how much I paid for it? He had 60 on it. I got him down to 50. Um, I was very happy to pick that up. Uh, Marvel keys are getting out of hand, so I'm concentrating on some DC keys for now. Uh, this is still in the, the poly bag, uh, Black Hole um, 1, 2, and 3, the Whitman. Uh, didn't pay much for these. Everything was like two or three bucks, except for that uh, that um, Hawk and Dove. The Erotic Worlds of Frank Thorne, number one. And number three. I think I have number two already. Um, let's see if I could just pull that out real quick. You know, I should have pulled it out before. I think it's down here. I'll try to find it as fast as possible. Yeah, things never work out that way, do they? Um, one. Nope, ain't here. All right, well, that, that didn't work out as planned, but uh, I had another issue. I think it's number two. Jaguar God number one for Zeta cover. That was two bucks. Veronica, um, another for Zeta cover. Found this in a 50 cent bin. Marvel Knights um, has something to do with the uh, uh, Helena Belova. Found this in a dollar bin. And this. Those were two Batman issues I needed. And uh, my friend Joe, uh, who also has a YouTube channel, uh, Super Joe, gave me, uh, he sold me that uh, for cover price. Um, he had bought an extra copy. So, and I'm not using a tripod today. I'm just kind of freewheeling it. So excuse the poor camera work. All right, so here is the short box that I picked up. Um, packed a little tight. I'll just show some of the highlights, maybe. Um, we'll see how quick we can get through it. We'll go like this. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, number one. Rachel Rising, uh, the Halloween edition. Two copies of Batman and Robin, number one. I thought this was something. It's not. It's just a cool cover. Detective 975, Manor Black, uh, number one, the variant and the main cover, that becomes something I'm set. DC Adventures uh, in the DC Universe, number one, um, another cool cover I just picked up. Two copies of that. Death of Superman. There was some decent stuff. Adam Hughes, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And then I got a, a run of JLA Classified uh, from 36. I should say from 1 
to issue 36. The complete uh, complete run from that. I'm trying to find where number one begins. So here we go. So we got issues one all the way to 36. So right there, that paid for for the short box. But um, there were some really cool books in here. Um, Venom 14, Venom 15, two copies, uh, Supergirl 34, some Jenny Frizen Wonder Woman stuff, Spider-Man um, annual number five, or no, issue five from whatever volume that is, another Jenny Frizen Wonder Woman. Shiny Detective cover, number 990. J. Scott Campbell, DV8. Detective Comics, 963. There was a handful of books that weren't uh, bagged and boarded. Two copies of the last issue of The Walking Dead, the second print. That book had a cover price of... Uh, Oh, it's definitely more than a dollar or two. Where the hell's the price on this thing? Oh, whatever. Spider-Man 26. Venom 17. Spider-Man 25. I'm trying to grab these whenever I see them on the cheap. These Walmart uh, books. So we got the Scooby-Doo 100-page giant. Legends of the Dark Knight. That was a $10 cover price. DC Holiday Special. Also one of those. I don't know if it was a Wal one of those Walmarts or not, but uh, $10 cover price, so it's probably not a Walmart. All-Star Batman 13. Detective Comics 979. Detective 958. Here's where the books get a little bit better. Preacher number two. That would have been a cool book to have a couple of years ago when the series first came out. Preacher four. Preacher five. Six. And seven. So that was cool. We got Batman 22. And 23. We got the image first. Walking Dead. Number one, the reprints, so that's cool. More Jenny Frizen. JLA Classified Annual Number One. Secret Files and Origins. So, I mean, there's some cool stuff in here. Uh, Batman Superman Number Two. Two copies. Batman Superman Three. And Four. Five. Six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So nice little run of this. 20, 21, 24. I grabbed all of them. 25. It's two different covers for 25. That's cool. 26, uh, Michael Turner cover. All right, so here's some of the better books. Um, final issue of Walking Dead. Um, first print. Darkwing Duck, number eight. And number five, we got uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, number one, the Hail Hydra second print variant. There was two copies of that. Cool, nice copy of Haunt, number two. Uh, gorgeous McFarlane cover. Spider-Man Annual Number One, Batman Beyond. This is like the first cameo ca appearance of Batwoman Beyond. Perillo, Batgirl Fifteen. This is a Joshua Middleton cover. I got two copies of that. Uh, New X-Men first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead. This would have been a cool find a couple years ago. This book was hot a little while ago. And we got Venom number four. And then here's the best two books. Venom number nine. 
I think this is a $20 book. Um, really nice shape. Awesome. Put that over there. And then the last book that I'm going to show from this little short box is... Oh, here's some more Batman and Supermans as well. So I got 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32... 33. So that nice run of that, but pow, that was in there. Um, Rachel Rising, number one, first print. This book was super hot six, seven years ago. Um, who knows if that ever gets optioned again. Um, but uh, that was a nice find. It's still like a, I think a $30 book, $25, $30 book. Um, so the Venom and the Rachel Rising could also be considered to pay for the whole box um, if I ever turned around and sold those. So that's it, just short and sweet. And um, let me know how you think I did in the comments. And uh, until next time, bye for now.